Scotland. Now the radio revolution. Perth's biggest names are usually at war with each other, but they've called a truce for one day. We got them all in the one room at the same time to see why they've joined forces. Graham Butler was there to see the sparks fly. It's the breakfast battlefield, a war that's waged every morning on Perth's airwaves. Well, for one day only, there's a history-making truce to celebrate the dawn of digital radio. Well, tomorrow we're making history because all of us are actually going to be broadcasting in the same place at the same time. All of the breakfast shows in Perth. It's really yeah. dangerous. Well, that it is very it's dangerous. Good. As radio joins the digital revolution, we've brought the big names of Brecky together for the first time time in the same studio. Fred Botica, Gary Shannon, Johnny Young, Tony Mack, Nathan Morris, Ian Cameron, M. Ruciano. We're all with these legends of radio. For Nathan and I, it's a real honour. Yeah, it so it's going to be unreal. While M and Nathan are relative newcomers to the business, others have been here, well, almost from the beginning. I said to Peter Waltham, here's your coffee when I was 14 years old and I was the office boy at 6IX. 1969 is when I started, when it was still digital. We had, we had cassette tapes, reel-to-reel -reel tapes as well, um, which you had to learn to splice and edit the, the old-fashioned way. You just don't see that gear anymore. We used to have to write our own commercials uh, on the old Remington typewriter. Mm. We used to go out and have to flog the commercials as well. So as well as being an announcer, you had to do everything else. I was 15 years of age and I, I knew a guy in the production department at 6KY who used to knock around with his brothers. And uh, he got me a job in the, uh, in the production area as the cartridge boy. <laughs> Humble beginnings. <laughs> Radio in Perth began a bit before that. In 1932, the ABC went to air as 6WF. The WF stood for the original licence holder, West Farmers. Radio was a window to the world. This is the Australian Broadcasting Commission, relaying throughout... His Majesty the King passed the peacefully of away... Don Bradman, the, the man of the month. Germany has invaded Poland and has bombed many times. The commercial stations weren't far behind. Here's a taste of 6PR's early days. City of Perth living with the modern sound of music on 6PR Radio Centre. Radio's seen a lot of milestones since those magical days of the wireless and vinyl records. Em, let me just explain to you. A record <laughs> it was a, a black thing that, about that size. Can I play it on my iPod? Well, no, you can't. No. In 1980, one of the biggest changes to Perth Radio arrived in the form of an FM commercial licence. 96 FM. Gordon O'Byrne had the honour. We were talking to adults, and so we just talk in our own natural voices. 96 FM Stereo brought a new sound to Perth. Years later, the AM stations tried to emulate the successful sound. There was that other great revolution in radio, AM Stereo. <laughs> <laughs> were you, were we don't you... mention that. <laughs> what happened to AM Stereo? Well, AM Stereo um, was... Uh, Supposedly, well, that was in the 80s, late 80s, and uh, it was uh, we were so desperate uh, to have something to hang on to because the FM stations around the country were rising rapidly, ratings-wise and revenue-wise, and so some genius came up with the idea of, um, yes, uh, uh, AM stereo, <laughs> which um, was supposed to be uh, a, a big weapon against FM. AM stereo didn't survive, but the big sound, big voices and other big things did. Was it a style? Were you all born and blessed with the golden tones you have? What do you mean by that? <laughs> I have enormous testicles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know because I'm sitting on one. <laughs> and I'm sitting on the other Please one. Please let that air. Please. You know, my family all sound the same, so really? you don't know. Yeah. Even your yeah. sisters. Yes, <laughs> even more so, actually. Yeah. Well, they say she's got even bigger ones than Ian. <laughs> they, they say that tomorrow morning, Perth's <laughs> breakfast radio stars will join forces for the next revolution in radio digital. There's a lot more uh, diversity that will happen through digital radio. We'll get we'll get we'll get away from the homogenous sound I think that's been created. And and Fred, of course, the people that will benefit will be our listeners. I know that it's got something to do with spectrum, but I'm gonna be honest, um, it's going to just create a whole lot more work for people that work too much already. The switch to digital radio follows the switch 
switched to digital television. And like TV, digital radio will mean more stations and better quality. I know the digital radio is going to have a much superior sound, also going to give everybody a, a, a larger diversity of options. So there'll be stations that are just dedicated to, say, R&B or to rock. And mm. I know that you'll be able to... Th I know that there's scrolling text involved. Mm. I know that uh, yeah. you can you can bet on the races and stuff while you you're driving. You can actually pause it and rewind You can pause and rewind. <laughs> How freaky is that? So that'd you be can great. see and uh, hear well, digital well, radio well, in the history-making well, broadcast at Forest Place tomorrow morning, early. And here's another history-making broadcast. You won't see this again. Tomorrow I'll miss you Remember I'll always be true And then while I'm away I'll ride home every day And I'll send all my loving to you Good night, Australia. <laughs> so, <good morning. laughs> United Radio. Forest Place tomorrow morning should be fun. Looking forward to tuning in.